want to not be on my team. Mm. I can't really see what did I miss. Mm. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, guys. Happy Friday. Like, y'all already know. It's time for our weekend freaking vlog, y'all. I'm literally just got off work. Please excuse how I look. Just excuse it, but know that I'm about to get myself together. I'm about to get myself together. I'm about to give tea. But right now, jump scare oh my god right now i'm definitely not giving tea i'm not giving tea but anyway girl just got off work i just made it home y'all i need to go ahead and start getting ready me and my sister are supposed to go out maybe have some drinks or something and y'all i am still sitting here her not done makeup not done still need to shower girl it is 7 15. Girl, let me get up. If you are not subscribed to my channel, girl, stop right now. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, you might as well hit the bell so that you notify every time I post, girl. Come on now. You don't want to miss a video. I got to keep y'all in a loop. We got to stay connected. So, girl, go ahead and subscribe. Duh. Anyway, if I didn't say that already, I'm Alexis and I make lifestyle, mom content, vlogs, fashion, beauty, everything, girl. I got what you need. But anyway, like I said, I need to start getting ready. So, girl, I'm about to shower and then we're going to curl my hair and we're going to do my makeup. So, I'm going to be back once I shower and do everything else, okay? All right, besties. So, I just got done with the shower, y'all. And I'm going to do my skincare. Like, I have to do my skincare before I start my makeup. Um, so, I'm going to do my skincare real quick, y'all, just so I can get it out the way. Because, girl, when you wash that face, you need to follow with that skincare. So let's go ahead and do our skincare. Yeah, I have been using the Good Molecule products mixed with my La Roche Posay. And girl, when I say like my skin looks amazing, oh my goodness. I told y'all I would give y'all an update on the products. Girl, the results are in. The products are tea. The products are tea. Now, I um, added the glycolic exfoliating toner to my um, skin regimen. Also, the discoloration correcting serum, all by Good Molecules. Yeah, I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Like, ooh, my skin just looks so good after using them. I get so many compliments on my skin now, like, um... What are you using? Uh, what are you putting on your skin? It's like, girl, let me give you the tea real quick. So, yeah, right now I'm rubbing the toner all over my face using a cotton ball. But, y'all, I didn't even mention this, but my birthday is Sunday. My birthday is literally Sunday. Like, <laughs> I'm turning 27. And honestly, this is the first birthday where I didn't feel like I had to, like, go crazy. Like, this birthday is super, super chill. Like, literally not doing anything crazy. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be by the pool. I'm going to be drinking, putting food on the grill. And then Sunday, which is my actual birthday, I'm going to get sushi and I'm going to see bad boys. So, when I say I'm literally having such a chill birthday like 27 is crazy but i'm so blessed i'm so blessed like to think at 27 years old you know i'm i have a really nice job i moved into this beautiful apartment and you know life is just really really good right now so i can't ask for much more my daughter is beautiful she's healthy she's loved she's cared for it's just like what more can you ask for? You know, I'm so thankful. And, you know, I'm just like, you know, this birthday, it's going to be a chill one. And I'm totally okay with that. Like, I'm totally cool with it just being a chill, relaxed birthday. To be honest, y'all, I am so out of my club era. Like, I do not want to go to the club tonight. My sister want to go out because she's like, it's your birthday. You need to turn up, yada, yada, yada. But I'm just like, girl, we could turn up in so many other ways. But we'll see. I'm going to try to convince her not to go to the club. Because it's my birthday. I really don't want to go to the club. Um, 
so we'll see i'm okay with even just going to some bars and stuff and just like maybe bar hopping but a club mm, i don't think so my club phase is over girls it's over which i can go to the club every now and again but the clubs in my city just don't give, y'all. I live in St. Louis, and the clubs here just don't give. Like, when I say crowded clubs, the men stand around. They barely want to move out your way when you walking past. And you in heels, you looking real cute. They barely want to get out your way. And, baby, let's not even talk about buying drinks. The niggas in the club is not buying drinks. They're just not. They are not buying drinks. Like, And it's because they don't have money for the drinks. They don't even have a drink. So they ain't buying a drink, girl. Anyway, yeah. I'm, enough. Enough about them. I stopped at Trops, y'all. I got me a little Trops drink. Real good. Real good. I got that Trops drink so I can sip on that while I get ready. But, y'all. <sighs> My daughter is with her grandparents. She's been with them since yesterday. And they were like, they would just keep her for me so I can go out tonight if i want to or whatever so she's with them i'm definitely going to pick her up tomorrow because i know she'll be ready to see me and hang out with me she's going to want to go hang out by the pool too so it's like i don't have to spend my birthday without my baby mm -mm. i would like to spend it with her <laughs> so okay skincare is done i actually think i'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair first so i could just pin my um my hair back and do my makeup. But y'all, look how glowy my skin is. That's why you have to invest in good products. Like, my skin is so supple right now. And I just put that sunscreen on, girl. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and curl my hair. This is a quick weave, y'all. I really need to touch it up. So, I'm going to touch it up. Um, fix any tracks that are loose. Blow dry it out. And, girl, we are going to curl this. We're going to wine curl it. I already got the wine curls plugged up, so... Uh, it shouldn't take that long. I was going to take my hair down and do a ponytail. But, like, it's literally already 741. It's like, girl, we don't have time for that. If we do all of that, we are not getting out the house tonight. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just wind curly. What am I looking for? I need. So, I was watching my cousin's vlog. And she did, like, a, a girl's chit-chat where she was just talking to the girls about different topics. One of her topics was like things that she wish she knew in her 20s or like, you know, just advice for women in their 20s or whatever. And it was so freaking like, it was just really something I needed to hear because everything she was saying, it was just like, it hit on the head. You know, as a woman that is in her, I guess, late 20s, because I'm 27, Sunday I'll be 27. It's a lot of things that uh, I wish I knew in my early 20s. And I want to talk about some of those things because I may have a few girls or women that watch me that may be in their early 20s or whatever. And I just feel like we should have this talk and we should talk about this or whatever. So one thing that I wish I would have paid attention to in my 20s, um, your 20s are literally for you. <laughs> your 20s are for you. Um, yeah, your 20s are for you. Uh, one thing about me, I wouldn't say I focus on dating for most of my 20s because, I mean, I was in a serious relationship for four years, so that took up, of course, four years of my 20s. But, like, your 20s are literally for you. I feel like you should spend that time getting to know yourself. You should spend that time focus on you, doing whatever it is that you want to do. Um... And not so much focused on, like, a relationship or a man, you know, because, like my cousin said, you have your whole life for that. And you don't think, you, when you're that age, you don't think like you have your whole life. You're just focused on, like, having somebody and having that relationship. And you're so, like, engulfed in that relationship when, in reality, you need to be focused on yourself. Um... Another thing that I learned late in my 20s is you literally have to put yourself first. 
Because one thing about other people, they will always put themselves first. And they will always do what's best for them. So make sure at all times you're doing what's best for you. And it's, it's okay to compromise. It's nothing wrong with compromise. But if you are the only one compromising, that's not for you. Put yourself first. That's a big thing that I feel like I took away now that I'm in my late 20s. Put yourself first. Never put somebody above you and never put your wants and your needs second to anyone. Because you have to remember, the other person or other people will always do what's best for them. They will always do what's best for them or what fits them. You know, you have to understand and be able to tell when people are around you or tolerate you because of what you're doing for them or who you are to them um and you have to also be able to recognize that would this person do the same thing for me if the shoe was on the other foot would this person do the same thing for me and if the answer is no get away from that person because it's one-sided you never want to be in something that's one-sided um so that's another thing <sighs> having kids oh my god let's talk about having kids and becoming a mom and becoming a parent period take your time take your time becoming a parent really take the time to get to know yourself and make sure that you're at a point and you're in a place where you're like okay with where you are in life at that moment if you're ready to have a child you know, I'm not saying that once you have a child, like, you can't dream or you can't accomplish certain goals and this and that and the next and the other. But it is harder when you have kids. It's so, it's so much harder because, you know, when you don't have the kids, you could fail. When you don't have the kids, you can mess up because it's just you. But once you have kids, you have to realize, you have to understand, you have to grasp the fact that it's not just about you. That if this doesn't work out, it's another person that could suffer from your mistakes. It's another person that could miss out from your mistakes. So it's just like, before you have kids and you make that big step and that big commitment, just make sure that you're ready. Also, make sure that you know the person that you're planning to have a family with. Make sure you truly know them. Um, make sure that you know their like morals, their their values make sure they align make sure that the things that you want in life it aligns with the person and if it don't align if y'all don't align y'all don't want to y'all don't want the same things let it go truly truly let it go like no it makes no sense to be moving forward with somebody y'all don't want the same things it that's just a waste of time it's just a waste of time. Pay attention to all the signs. Pay attention to all the red flags. If you know that it's something that you don't like and something you're uncomfortable with, don't people please and go along with it. Because I did that. I was a people pleaser. There was a lot of stuff that I knew that I wasn't okay with in situations and I still went along with them because I thought I wanted something so bad. And because... You know, you just do things because you think you love somebody. You're like, oh, I love them. So you do these things, but you don't realize like you are literally sacrificing yourself at the expense of someone who probably wouldn't do the same for you. So when you talk about having kids with somebody, whew, truly, truly, truly make sure that you know them. Truly make sure that you know them. And truly make sure that, like, like I said, you both want the same things because... that can become a lot too okay so another thing that i would say is something that um i wish i would have known in my <laughs> i don't want to feel like i'm being shady but there's so much that i want to say fuck it i want to say it there's just there's seriously so much stuff like i wish i would have known in my early 20s like I wish I would have known about saving and about building my credit, working on my credit. Like, I, I truly feel like in high school, there should have been some kind of class that teaches you about credit. And I don't feel like we had that because it's just like we don't, you don't realize how important credit is until you're an adult. So I wish I would have 
uh, took the time to really build up my credit and pay all my bills on time and all those little things because when you don't, it come back and it bites you in the ass. It bites you in the ass for sure. For sure, for sure, it bites you in the ass. Um. Um. Another thing I wish I would have known in my twenties is about really like taking the time to create friendships and pouring into those friendships. Like, don't get me wrong, I had friendships, of course, and I had really good friends, but I can't say that I was always the best friend. I didn't always show up for people. I didn't always reach out, you know, and you really want to, you don't want to become a certain age and look around and you don't have any close-knit friends or anyone that you can really call like your day one or your best friend and just somebody that you know has your back. You don't want to look around and realize that you don't have that um once i moved out of town i really lost all connections with my friends and that was completely my fault because i'm the one that moved so i should have still continued to water those friendships even though i'm not in the same city as them anymore still communicate still reach out to them you know and even invite them out to come where i live now and just like really prioritizing friendships like I am now working on building those friendships back and also trying to create new friendships. Like, I really want to have, like, you know, a good set of girlfriends that are, like, good girlfriends and we have the same interests and we have the same values and just, like, you know, there's no shady stuff. There's no, like, you know, drama. I just want genuine friendships and that's what I'm really, like, seeking and working for now. But you know what? One thing I have to realize is... Um, I want, I want them to come like, I want them to be authentic. I don't want forced relationships. I don't want forced friendships. I want that stuff to be very authentic. So it's like, I'm very patient and I'm going to just start praying about it. And I'm going to start like, you know, aligning myself with women who are into the same thing that I am, you know, and try to build friendships that way. Because I do want to have like good girlfriends. Like right now, I probably have like two or three friends that I can, or two or three girls that I consider like good girlfriends. And that's it. And sometimes that's okay. It's okay to have a small group. But even with those girlfriends, we're not like as close as I would like. You know? So, I haven't had a best friend in years. And that's, that's what I think I'm looking for. I'm looking for like a best girlfriend. Um... And like I said, when I moved out of town, I completely lost all of my friendships because I moved. And I put so much of myself and so much of my energy into my relationship. Like, you know, that was my only friend. And, you know, once that ended, it was very hard because it was just like, that was my only friend. That was the person that I did everything with, the person that I talked to all the time. You know, so it was very hard to go from having a best friend then to having no best friend at all after all that time. Um, so I am looking to, like, build more relationships with women and, like, you know, get a nice set of girlfriends again. Um, so that's one thing I wish I would have definitely, like, paid attention to in my 20s for sure. Um, what else? What else would I say? Um, focusing more on my career and focusing more on my like goals and aspirations. Like I always have, I always have been a very like goal oriented. I've been always, I'm really like, um, I've always felt this like tugging on my heart as far as like social media and content creating like i always wanted to be a youtuber i used to joke i actually started a youtube years ago and i would make videos and post on that all the time but it was like a couple's youtube um so i used to do youtube a long time ago and it was something that i was very passionate about and i tried to like force you know other people to be passionate about it too but it's just like girl this is what God has a calling on your life. Like, it's so amazing to see me now being a YouTuber and me, like, vlogging and me growing because it's just, like, this is something that I've always wanted to do. Like, literally, this is something that I have always had on my heart to do. Like, I've always wanted to create content. I always wanted to vlog. I always wanted to make YouTube videos. Like, I would literally be sitting in my room pretending that I was recording a YouTube video. And I would never post the content. And then, you know, once I kind of... And then one day I'm just like, you can do it. Just do it. Just fucking do it. Like, 
stop doubting yourself just go after it and i did y'all and when i say i started making content when i was pregnant with my daughter on tiktok and we blew up on tiktok and then i'm just like you know what i'm gonna start a youtube channel like i always wanted to and i started my youtube channel y'all and my youtube channel is growing every single day i'm just like so happy because this truly makes me happy this truly feels like right for me like i have done a lot of things i have tried a lot of things in my life like i have tried to do nails i have tried to do makeup i have tried so many different jobs and none of that like fills my soul none of that truly feels like right or fitting for me i've tried eyelashes and then when whenever i record content or whenever i get in front of the camera i feel so good about it and i love doing it you know i truly love like making vlogs and making videos like so it's just like i know this is like what god has for me and what god wants for me and it's just like you know i'm having fun with it i'm gonna continue to make vlogs even if only a few people watch them I'm going to continue to make them because it makes me happy and it's something that I truly enjoy. Um, so yeah, I just wish that I would have believed in myself years ago. Because uh, who, who knows where I would be right now if I just believed in myself. But like I always say, it's never too late. It's never too late to go after your dreams and to go after whatever it is that makes you happy. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Like, this makes me happy. This brings me joy. Um, and to see like my page growing, it truly fills me up. It truly makes me so freaking happy. So, yeah. Um, and let's talk about some things that I'm learning now. Because I'm at a whole different stage in my life than I was in my 20s, in my early 20s. Now that I'm in my late 20s, let's talk about some of the things that I have had to learn to be okay with. So like, of course now I'm single. I've been single for a few, for two years now. I'm a mom and y'all, I had to learn that it's okay to be alone. It's okay to be alone and that I have to make sure that for me, when it comes to about dating, when it comes to dating, it's quality over quantity for me. Like having multiple men text me, call me, take me out on dates, that doesn't necessarily excite me because it's just like, I want a quality man. And it's just like, girl, let's be honest, the dating pool got pee in it. <laughs> Getting back into the, to the dating world was kind of weird at first, but you know, I'm getting the hang of it or whatever now and truly figuring out like what I like. Like that's what dating helps you do. Dating helps you figure out like what you like, what you're into, what you don't want, you know. So like, you know, it, it truly helps you like figure out like, the type of person you want to be with. And baby, let's just say the dating pool got pee in it. And let's just say this. Y'all been doing this. <laughs> if we're being honest here, I'm a relationship girly. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. But no, I'm like, baby, y'all ain't gonna stretch me out. You do something crazy, cut off. <laughs> You're not trying to go on dates, cut off. You think about to just chill, cut off. It's like, it's so sad, but right now it's like, um, it's like the hookup era and don't get me wrong don't get me wrong we all had our fun we all have our fun days we all had our fun wild times but i'm touching 30 i'm touching 30 baby i'm 27 i'm touching 30 i'm not trying to just be hooking up i'm not trying to be chilling either we're going on a date or you're not gonna see me okay Either we're going on a date or you're not going to see me. But yeah, yeah, I guess I'll come back on here, y'all, once I'm done with my hair because I probably got like 30 more minutes of curling my hair. So I'm going to come back when I'm done, y'all, and then we're going to do my makeup. Why my bad bitch is crazy? I'm and a motherfucker. Hawks me looking okay. Yeah. She think that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? <laughs> he said he ain't fucking around. I look at him like, okay. I used to be. I bought you. I bought you. Okay. I'm pretty than a motherfucker. Hawks me looking okay. She think that she fucking with me. Is this bitch okay? He said he ain't fucking around. I look hey, y'all. 
y'all good morning last night was like super super chill y'all we did not do much like anything crazy anything super exciting we did go down to the grove we got pizza uh we got some drinks and we walked around down in the grove or whatever after we did that we did go back to my sister's place and we just like chilled we were talking drinking more just hanging out so i didn't record much of that um it's Saturday morning, y'all. It is 9.32. I am debating if I'm going to go to the actual gym that I normally go to or am I going to go downstairs and just work out in my home gym. Um, I'm not sure, but I don't want to spend too much time deciding because I do have to come home, go to the store, get some stuff ready uh, for the pool because we are going down to the pool to hang out and grill and stuff today. So, yes. Um... Do I want to go down to the regular gym? I guess I'll just go ahead and go to the actual gym because it's been a while since I've been there. So let's go ahead and head out. I'm already dressed. I have on this two-piece workout outfit. I'm going to grab my tennis shoes. I actually think they're in a trunk. So yeah, I'm going to grab me a protein shake and then we're going to head out and go to the gym and get a nice little workout in before we get our day started. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey girls, so I am in the car. I decided to just go ahead and work out at the actual gym. Um, it's like I said, it's been a while since I've been to the real gym um, and not just downstairs in my apartment's gym. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, Ariana is still with my parents. So after my workout, then I'll go and pick her up or whatever. I have her clothes and all her, her stuff. So I'll get her ready. Um, I have my protein shake right here. Uh, instead of me going and buying a $5 protein shake, I'm like, girl, you got protein powder at home. Make you a protein shake before you leave. So, got to drink that before I make it to the gym so that I'm not, like, working out on an empty stomach. Because that's, that's just not tea. Not tea, yeah. But, yeah, I had a good time last night. I'm, it's so funny. It's so funny to think now how okay I am with like a chill birthday. Like I used to want to be outside. I used to want to be in the club. I used to want to be like doing all this extravagant crazy stuff for my birthday. But this year I'm like, I just want to relax. This year I just want to like chill. This year I want to do something very, very like calm and chill and relax. So I'm super excited to come home today put on my bathing suit go put some hot dogs on the grill and literally just lay out by the pool and sip on margaritas y'all i am done with my workout and baby let me just say i'm tired i am freaking tired like not gonna i'm not gonna die your girl is tired oh i don't want to hit that car that car's so nice i don't want to hit it let me go out the other way let me go out that way because uh i can't afford to hit that car Mm -mm. Okay? but anyway yeah i'm leaving the gym i'm going to get ariana um i'm not sure if my parents are going to come to the pool with us but i'm going to go ahead and get my baby because we headed to the pool it's hot i want to put some food on the grill i want to go ahead and get something to drink and i want to go swimming so yeah i'm gonna go home take a shower and get her together because i know i need to give her a bath and do her hair all that good stuff I may not do her hair because I'll be going to the pool. So I may just throw her some curl enhancer or some leave-in conditioner in her hair. So her hair is not dry from the chlorine. But yeah, my workout was tea. Really good workout. I'm tired, y'all. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. Great workout, though. A great workout. I just posted me and Ariana's, um, well, it's not her first paid collab, but of 2024. I just posted Ariana's first paid collaboration of 2024. 
so i'm super excited i'm super happy about that it's like you know for me i really want to pour into my baby like um i see how lucrative social media can be and i see like the passion that of course that i have for it and it's like i want to pass that down to my daughter i want to give her something you know that she could carry on and that she loves and enjoys um too so it's like i'm getting her started early in the social media world by the time ariana is four ariana is going to be a star she's already a star and i'm i only know that she's a star but by the time ariana is four the world will know she's a star mark my words my baby is a star and i'm literally pouring into my child like i take the time to create the content with her because i know that she's a star it's so funny and it's not just because she's my kid it's just when i look at her i see how amazing she is i see how much of a light she is i see how much joy she brings to people like the amount of joy ariana brings to the people around her is truly amazing and when i say brings joy she makes everybody so happy you can be having a bad day and then you look at ariana and she will make you smile so big. She will make your heart so full. She is such an amazing and pure, beautiful soul. And I just can't wait for the world to experience that. And don't get me wrong, the world can see it. My people that follow me on social media, they see how much of a light she is. They see how, you know, happy she is. And that brings them joy. And that's why I made the content. Because I'm like, she makes other people so happy. People say all the time, like, I pray that I have a happy baby like Ariana. And they just say how happy she is and how silly she is. And I'm just like, I love to share that with people. I love that my baby could bring other people joy and make other people laugh and make other people smile. Um, so I'm like, we're going to share this with the world. And I know that's what God intended for me to do with her is to share her light with the world. Um, because she brings me so much happiness and I just watch like I said I watch how much happiness she brings to people around us she brings so much happiness to my family like if I would record how people are around her you would be like oh my gosh she makes everybody so happy she makes she she instantly captures all of our attention and she just makes us laugh all the time so yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to continue to pour into my baby and continue to uplift her because I know that she's going to do great things in this world. She literally is going to be a light to so many people. And I just can't wait to see how that manifests as she gets older. What kind of light is she going to bring to people? In what way? You know, I don't know what kind of way. I know for me right now, it's through social media and making our content. But as she gets older and she, you know, has her own identity and all those type of things, I want to see what she does with it. And the kind of light that she brings to other people. I really want to see. I can't wait to see that. Um, but um, enough of that. Because I'm going to get gushy. Because I'm such a mom. Um, like I said, I'm going to pick her up. I have an outfit in my purse for her. So I could change her. Put her on her cute little outfit here. But I may just wait till we get home. I'm not sure. Because it's like, what's the point of putting her an outfit on? And we're going to the pool. So, yeah. But yeah, I posted our first sponsored content so if you are not uh, following our tiktok girl go follow our tiktok also we have a instagram account too that i just started so girl follow the instagram account too because i post all of our content on tiktok and instagram i really want to start incorporating more videos of ariana on my youtube channel because the people love her on youtube too so it's like i have to incorporate her into more of this content um and that's what this was originally for for a family page um and it's still that i just kind of have been recording like vlogs but i realized i only record vlogs when i go out i only record vlogs when i'm by myself and it's like no i want to incorporate more of my mom stuff like i'm always a mom but i don't necessarily pick up the camera and record that but it's like girl yeah pick that camera up and record that because that's content people want to see you in mommy mode people want to see how you are as a mom people want to see how you're being able to navigate and juggle motherhood with also content creating and everything else so i'm definitely going to start recording that journey y'all but i'm looking at our reel to see how it's doing it's doing pretty good. I'm so happy about that. Hey guys, we are now at the pool now. I have my little bathing suit on, my itty bitty black bikini. Yeah, I'm about to take some shots. I have some leftover hornitos. 
Girl, we about to take some shots because my birthday tomorrow. B-Day tomorrow. Let's take some shots of this Hornitos. And this is literally what I had left over for the weekend. Baby. It's shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. Is this my baby right here with this juice spilling everywhere? Yes, it is. Oh, it's not in it. All I'm gonna say is, who had a baby a year ago? Who? Who brought it? That's mine. Watch out! Watch out! I'm filming. Yeah. Who, who brought, you had brought a baby a year ago? That's leftovers from like two weekends ago. Mm -hmm. You want some? Oh my god, my battery's gonna die. All right, guys, let's say what's up to everybody. My mom. Yeah, my dad. You milk him. No. Key. Oh, that's not Key. Ren. Ren. My bad. My yeah. Bad. Here's Nana. Say hi, Nana. Say hi. One thing I'm not going to do is like this. Nana. Nana. I didn't want to. We'll get here again. Hit Ari. Look, y'all. She loves the camera. <laughs> Say, mwah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we got Chris on the grill. My name Ronnie. I'm the oh my God. Yeah, I mean, Ronnie from Power. Look for that yeah, we got the burgers, <laughs> the hot dogs. <laughs> Period. And y'all now, okay, here y'all. I already want to say hi again. Here, here, bro. Here, 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 here. That's You be doing it that much of her that she trying to do it. Hey, Ari, hey. Look at how I want to pan for the delicious and let her record. She mad. Give it to me, Chris. She ain't gonna see a couple girl. She mad. All right, come on, Ari. Let's take these shots. Chris, give her the daddy. Ren. Girl, because he needs to get her the daddy. Ari is fine. No, Chris, everybody knows she's a papa girl. She gonna cry. She fine. She fine. She fine. Can I get one of them? No. Cheers. Cheers to turning 27 and being fine and fine. Like oh, man, they got the best pizza place on the left. Mm -hmm. I need another one. I'm pouring another shot. It's my birthday tomorrow, so why not? Yeah. Oh, it's your birthday this weekend? It's tomorrow. You took me out the bitch, though. Do you want to get a bottle? I think I do. I think I do. Uh, my brother is literally burning all the meat. Well, I didn't add, I, I'm a gas dude, man. I'm, I'm a, I'm a uh, Turn it down, charcoal Chris. dude. I did. Mama, I turned it down already. Chris, your meat is on fire. Take it off. It's not on fire. Don't Chris, the guy coming, you can't be pouring that. <laughs> yeah, and the guy coming over here, Chris. <laughs> I'm not dead thing I need to know a long time ago, baby. Yeah, you left a little hard over there, ain't you? Excuse the taco meat on his chest, y'all. He is just burning up all the burgers. No, the hell. You better get me out there. <laughs> Mama, what your son doing? Girl. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> His whole little body gonna be on fire. His name is Chris. Name is Chef Burn. Chef Burn. Hi, girl. Nah, nah, you want something? Real G shit. We got her kidney. Look at that. Look at her. Look at her. One year old. One year old already swimming on shit, sliding on shit. Yay! Oh yay! Please get your band. Good job, Ari Rose. Girl, we don't want to talk to you. I mean, you be good. You all never talk to me like that. Titi. Oh, come on. Come on. Too cute. Bye bye. Oh my goodness. Let me pause. I'm sorry. Just hold on, Sunny. Let me pause you, girl. Yeah, I am finally in from the pool. Ariana is in the back. She's knocked out. 
yeah no there are no sheets on my bed because she was already asleep when we got in the house like when my brother carried her upstairs she was already asleep so i'm like you know what girl i have clean sheets right there but she was already asleep and it's like i'm not gonna miss this moment for her to actually sleep because i want to put sheets on the bed so the sheets will get put on the bed when she wake up from her nap but for now baby we're not worried about the sheets we're not worried about that i was just watching a vlog and i'm like you know what i took my shower i lotioned up oiled my body and i'm about to do my skincare now but as i was sitting here i was thinking like i'm really chilling for my birthday like if this was me probably a few years ago i would be getting ready to go to the club i would literally be getting ready to go to the club and i'm like you know what i really don't want to be in the club like i really don't want to do all that hoorah hoop and hollering this is not what i want to do it's not so like we had such a good time down at the pool y'all um everybody was just such a good time we had a good time just talking um <laughs> we had a good time just talking and drinking and just hanging out letting the kids play or whatever so i am so happy with just that um anyway jam so yeah i'm happy with just that yeah so i had a good time and like i said i'm chilling i just put on the vlog i'm watching it um but yeah yeah i had a really good time right now i'm watching naturally sunny's vlog i've been watching her vlogs lately i've been watching um what's her name face over matter too like i don't know i feel like they're a package deal so i watch her videos too now while ariana is sleeping but my shower was amazing like i said i'm doing my skincare now y'all and then once i'm done with my skincare i'm gonna start cleaning my house because when i say my place is a mess like <sighs> i just need to organize i need to clean everything so I'm going to do that once I'm done with my skincare and stuff. Um, and then after I do that, I'm chilling. I am literally going to chill. Because I'm tired. Like, I'm not even going to pretend like I'm not tired. The fact that the weekend is, like, already gone blows me. It really blows me. Like, why is it Saturday night? Girl, why is it Saturday night? And then tomorrow got the nerve to be Sunday? oh my goodness but anyway y'all i was saying like i want to do a um sit down chit chat like a get to know me because a lot of you are new followers and i don't think i ever did like a get to know me or um just where we sit down and we have like a little girl chat so i do want y'all to ask me some questions if y'all can go ahead and leave a comment down um below ask me a question that you want to know um or topics that you want me to talk about in the get to know me video because i am going to try to shoot that very very soon after i post this video so if y'all leave the comment down below it'll help me be able to help y'all like really get to know me um because i am so big on trying to build community on my channel i know that's super super important so definitely want to do that girl but like yeah to be turning 27 this year is very crazy like i'm about to be 30 i have no time to play no games i have no time to waste no time like 27 is a big age but i'm blessed i am truly 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 blessed and that's all i can say about that i truly love these skincare products like I have found my big three like what when I say my La Roche Posay mixed with this I'm not gonna keep telling y'all about these face care products because I have said it so many times if y'all ain't caught on yet girl you sleeping 
But yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare and then I'm going to get into cleaning up this apartment because child, it's a mess. It truly is a mess. And one thing about me, I don't like a dirty place. I just don't. But yeah, I'm excited to be a big back tomorrow um, and eat some sushi. Cause I'm gonna get a lot. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm gonna get a lot of sushi. Yeah, it's me texting my um my family group chat asking who gonna give me a cake because I really really want a cake. My nephew's birthday was the other day, and they were down at the pool with us. We were celebrating his birthday too, and they had cupcakes. Why was I a big back and packed up four cupcakes? I literally have four cupcakes in in the kitchen right now. And Ariana's going to have one. Yeah. She's going to have one cupcake. Am I going to eat three? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to eat three. I, I'm going to eat three. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to eat three. So, tomorrow morning, yeah, I'm going to try to wake up and do a workout. A morning workout for my birthday. Because it's like... Would it be me if I didn't work out? <laughs> no. Uh -uh. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm in love with this black girl sunscreen. I'm almost out, so it's almost time for a new bottle. But I truly, truly, truly love it. Like, when I say that sunscreen gives me such a beautiful glow. Like, and I always bring it down to my neck. Because they said that's what you're supposed to do. And it gives me such a gorgeous glow. But yeah, I'm tipsy. I need to go ahead and clean up my living room and my bathroom and my hallway and start on this laundry. So I'm going to check in with y'all when I'm done. I'm not going to bore y'all with a cleaning montage because I feel like every single video has a cleaning montage in it. And I'm just not doing it. So I'm going to check in with y'all a little bit later after I um do this laundry and clean up this house. Uh, so I am... No, we're near done cleaning up. Why did I do my skincare, start to clean up, and came in here and lay down with Ariana? It is 1040. She was asleep since about 730. So, will she be up for a long time tonight? Absolutely. Is she going to bed anytime soon? I highly doubt that. I highly doubt it because... She got her sleep. <laughs> Mommy, she got her sleep. She's good. She is good. So, I have my... What? My comforter is in the dryer. Why are you getting down, bro? Where are you going? Yeah, ever since she learned how to walk, she just be sliding off the bed and going about her business. But anyway, I have my comforter in the dryer, y'all. I just put fresh sheets on my bed. Um, so I am, like, putting the new sheets on and whatever. I don't know why I'm doing all this tucking and all of that. Because, girl, we're about to hop right in this bed. Like, it's no point in me doing all of that. I don't really think I'm going to get the comforter out tonight. Because um, I still have a load of laundry that's in the dryer. So, my comforter is still in the washer. It's done washing, but the clothes are still drying. So, I have a little blanket that I'm pretty sure me and Ariana will use tonight. Um, but, yeah, yeah, I still have so much stuff to clean up. It's truly just not enough hours in a day. Like, it's truly not enough hours in a day. Oh, my God, I still got so much to do. And then to think that I still have to start, like, editing this vlog. I want to make sure I start getting vlogs out to y'all every week. And I want to start doing weekly vlogs, too. So, yeah, I have so much that I need to do. I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and lay in bed and edit this. Start editing this vlog. Because I want to have this vlog up Monday. Because Monday I want to start a new vlog. I want to try a weekly vlog where I do, like... Um, I record like my day to day throughout the week. So, you want to get up here? Come on. Come on. 
She really just want to get in the camera. See, look, that's all she wants. <laughs> you a little vlogger. Don't you drop my camera, girl. You gonna pay for that. Say what's up, y'all. Look. Say hey, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. What you doing? <laughs> yeah. Say my name is Ariana. And I so cute. <laughs> yeah. Say I have <laughs> about 10 teeth now. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she wants to hold the camera so bad. Look. She likes to hold it. Like, girl, you're not strong enough to hold the camera. You're my sweet baby. You're my sweet baby. I love you too. Yeah. Mwah. Yeah, sweet girl. She's such an affectionate baby. That's how you know, like, she gets nothing but love and kisses because that's all she want to give me. She will come up to me and just lay on me and let her head down. She'll come up and be like, Mwah. it's the cutest thing ever, y'all. But yeah, I'm not doing much right now. This is such a chill weekend. I'm not mad. Like, this is peaceful. <laughs> this is peaceful. I need to drink some water, y'all, because I don't even think I had any water today. And I've been drinking. So, like, I have a headache. I feel super, super dehydrated. Like, oh, girl. If you knew better, you do better. My baby do. Ariana, I can't even talk. Get off. Mama can't even talk. Yeah, my baby hair is growing so well. It was so funny because at one point her afro was like boneless. And it wasn't full. And now it's so full because her hair growing. Yeah, her growing, girl. It growing, girl. Yeah. But yeah, y'all. We're not doing nothing. Like I said, I'm finna... Probably sit here and start editing. Editing, like I said, I'm probably gonna sit here and try to edit this vlog. At least like get yesterday's footage and today's footage done. Um, but that's pretty much about it. I guess I'll just check in with y'all in the morning time because we're not really doing nothing. We're chilling. Um, probably watch a little movie before we go to bed. But that's about it. But tomorrow, y'all, we are going to get sushi and we're going to see bad boys. So, I guess good night and I'll see y'all in the morning. Alright, say night night. Uh. Look, say night night. Uh. Night night. Uh. Good morning, guys. And happy birthday to Moa. Your girl is 27 today. And can we talk about how much of a blessing that is? Can we talk about how amazing it is to see 27 years of life? I'm shook. I am so blessed. I am so thankful. I am so grateful to wake up this morning and be healthy. To wake up this morning and to be in my beautiful apartment. To wake up this morning to my beautiful baby girl who I love so much. Who brings me so much joy. Who brings me so much peace and so much happiness. Can we talk about the growth? Can we talk about how grateful I am for everything? Yeah, I am 27 today. And I am so freaking happy where I am in life right now. I'm so happy that I can say that right now I have peace. Right now I have joy. And to have peace, there's nothing like it. That's the most... Having peace is so important. And I'm just very blessed that I'm at a place in my life where I have peace, where I'm stable. I'm able to provide for me and my daughter. And, you know, every single day is just another blessing. Every single day is another chance, another opportunity for me to make the most out of this life and to make the most out of myself and be able to provide more for my child. So I just thank God for covering me. I thank God for blessing me. I thank God for keeping me for 27 years. Anyway, guys, 
We are going to get sushi, guys, at 2 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock now. I have to give Ariana her bath. I have to get her dressed, do her hair. I'm getting her ready first. Before I even start getting myself ready, I'm getting this little girl ready. Because she is not about to stress me out while I got my makeup and my hair done. I start sweating. I'm not doing all of that. So we are about to go ahead and get her bed, comb her hair, get her dressed for the day, and then I'm gonna start getting myself ready. Like I said, it's 10 o'clock now. Um, we're, we meet for sushi at two o'clock, so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting her ready so it's just not this long, drawn out process. So yeah, let's do that, y'all. a little pack but that's okay i am hopeful that this will be pretty good my dad's here brother's here mom's here ari rose and yeah we're waiting on chuck and joya but we got drinks on the way so Ariana in the movies. Pray for me. Cause I just don't know. I just don't know. tired y'all she is tired she needs a bottle and then we are going to sleep but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and we will see you guys on thursday because i will be starting a brand new video for you guys tomorrow monday may not may monday june 24th <laughs> i will be starting a new vlog and it's going to be a days in our life so don't forget don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also leave me a comment down below girl i want to interact with you guys i want to talk to you guys all that good stuff so yes i will see you guys in our next video all right look say bye